Hey everyone, I'm Nick, and welcome back to another episode of PyTest Basics. So in this episode of the series, we're going to be taking a look at how we can pass parameters to our test fixtures. So it's often the case that we want to initialize our tests differently based upon how a test has been parameterized. For example, we may parameterize a test to use small, medium, and large data, but we want some test fixtures to be the ones to generate that data or go fetch that data from some location. So we need some sort of way to pass this information from our parameterized markers over to our test fixtures. And that's what we're going to be looking at today. So let's go ahead and get started. And we'll start by opening up our example, this test prim forwarding zero.py. And we have a couple very simple Python functions here. So number one, we have our sum elements function, which just sums the elements inside of a list and returns the total. And then we have our test for our sum elements function called test sum. And all this test does is it calls some elements and compares the result against the built-in Python sum function. Now we've done two special things with this test. So number one, we've used our decorator pytest mark parameterize to parameterize our test. So we're adding a parameter named num elements, which we've also added to the parameter list. And we're going to sweep this parameter across the values one, two, three, four, and five. So we essentially have five tests here. We have test sum called with the value of one, then two, then three, then four, then five. Okay, so the next thing that we have uh, done kind of special for a test is we're requesting this element list fixture here. And ideally we want this fixture to be the one to create our list for us. But how exactly do we get say num elements, the number of elements we want in our list into our um, element list fixture? So we're gonna go ahead and see how we can do that by first opening up our confist.py file, which has our fixture in it. So the only thing we need to do in order to forward the value of this parameter, num elements, to our fixture is by adding the name of this parameter to the parameter list of the fixture, right? So uh, we have at pytest mark parameterize here, adding our num elements uh, parameter. So we can add that to our test sum uh, test but we can also add it to our fixture element list here. So at runtime, our value of num elements will get sent to our element list fixture, which will then create a list of num elements using range. Great. So we have a way now of passing um, the value of one of these parameters to a test fixture, right? To help out with the initialization. Okay, so let's go ahead and quit out of here. And the first thing we can do is we can run pytest dash dash collect only for our test to see all five variants that we have. So collected five items, and of course it's test sum with the values of one through five. We can also see our fixture in conf test by running pytest dash dash fixtures for test pram forwarding zero dot py. And we can see our element list fixture down here. And then of course we can run our tests by just using pytest test pram forwarding zero dot py. And we can see that all five of our tests run and they complete successfully. Okay, now another nice thing that we can do with PyTest, if we go ahead and open up our test again, is we don't actually need to add the name of this parameter, num elements, to the parameter list of our test. So we can go ahead and delete that and we can just have the name of our fixture. Let's open up that, that comptest.py file with our fixture again. So we even though we've marked this test with pytest mark parameterize, so long as we have a fixture that's using that parameter, we don't actually have to put it in the parameter list of our test. Right? And this is pretty nice in our particular circumstance because our test body wasn't actually using that num elements parameter. It was only being used inside of element list. So instead of adding it you know, to our test sum parameter list, we can simply just add it to our element list uh, fixtures parameter list and leave it be, right? And everything will be just fine and work out exactly the same. So we can go ahead and quit out of here, having deleted uh, num elements from our parameter list of our test. And we can go ahead and run pytest test prem forwarding zero dot py again. And we can see everything works exactly the same, right? So it provides another nice way of, you know, making our test function signatures very clean, right? if those parameters are only being used by say the fixtures. Okay, so that's gonna go ahead and do it for this time. As always, you can 
Learn more about things like parameterizing tests from the official PyTest documentation at docs.pytest.org. I'll link that below. You can also find out any of these examples at github.com slash coffee before arch. So they'll be under repositories and then under PyTest. So you can find all of these in here. And I've also written a number of guides on PyTest and about things like forwarding parameters uh, to PyTest fixtures. And I'll link this below as well. But that's going to go ahead and do it for today. As always, I'm Nick, and I hope you have a nice day.